Epi June 2014 kayak. I am on the Osage River. Water level is much higher than previous times I've been at this point. I've been here maybe three or four times. Once in November, probably two more times during the winter. Water levels were much, much lower. This wannabe cave that I showed you in the beginning here was probably a good 10 feet above the water level and maybe 20 feet from the water line, you know, being up on shore. The water then was nowhere near any of the bluffs. There's another cave probably halfway from here to my launch point. My launch point's only half mile away. Maybe a quarter mile from here was another cave, more of a cave, that is probably five to 10 feet above the water level. And that was nowhere near the water when I was here previously. When I was here in November, I talked with a fisherman as I was getting out, uh, who told me that, hey, you know, I see your camera. There's an eagle's nest about two and a half miles that way. There's a uh, stream that goes off, and there's an eagle's nest up that stream. So I tried it in February. He told me about that in, in November. I tried it in February, but when I got to that stream, there was like a quarter inch of ice on it. I could sort of break it with the kayak, but I sure couldn't paddle, so I never did get to see it. Now the eagles are going to be gone. It's summertime. I'm seeing a few uh, turkey cultures. But I thought, well, this would be a good opportunity. The water levels are higher. Uh, but with the water levels higher, the current is much swifter. I've come a, a half a mile in a half an hour, you know, paddling against the current. It would be much easier going back. But, yeah, that's what it's like. There are trees floating out here. I mean, there's eddies. Right in here it looks uniformly smooth. But there are trees floating out here. And you'll get things in the water that actually affect what you're feeling. Uh, they'll create eddies and turbulence. So between here and my launch point, I ran into a few points like that. Try and wrap my arm around this tree so I don't drift away. Yeah, this tree which is partially submerged because the water level usually isn't this high. Ah, it is a beautiful day. Uh, Mostly sunny. I mean, scattered clouds right now. The sun is just starting to come from behind a cloud. I don't know if I said this yet. Um, high 80s. Um, we're looking for 90 to 92 today. Same thing again tomorrow with the storm moving again and again tomorrow after evening and then Thursday and Friday. So, yeah, I'll get to that yard work. Water is just rushing by. It's almost like being in the Niagara. Almost. Yeah, except the Niagara. My camera's turning off on me. Yeah, the, the Niagara is four times as wide, but still this is moving pretty swiftly. It's just spring water. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my paddle, check that out, that cave. Maybe I'll, when I get home I'll compare videos and pictures from my previous kayaks out here, my paddles, to see what the water level looks like compared to this, but I'm, I know it was much, much lower. Yeah, so hey, enjoy your day. Ciao, folks. Black hat.